Welcome everyone. Do you care about your privacy and your data? Nightcap? I think I've got who is that? A little privacy, please! You got it. Do you want to stop Microsoft from milking your hard earned money and the private data without you even realizing it? Do you want to stop Windows 11 from sending your data without your permission to the cloud? Or would you rather learn how to properly set up Windows 11? If you're saying right now yeah! to any of those questions, please yeah! stick around. I'll show you step by step the right way to do it and take the guessing work out of the equation. Recall feature slash bug virus spyware Depends who you ask, you be the judge. Has been in the news lately. Now we have OneDrive also in the news besides the shooting at Trump rally. So what's the news about OneDrive you might be wondering? Well, Microsoft has gone ahead and enabled automatic backup to their OneDrive cloud services, thus pushing your data without your permission to the cloud. If you're using Microsoft account to either sign into your Windows automatically or you have OneDrive startup automatically on your Windows 11 machine. So why did they do that if you're wondering? Well, if I was to guess, well simply they want to hold your data hostage. They're offering dirt cheap storage options on their OneDrive for the first year. This way you get used to having your data stored on their cloud and they will in a few years, I'm sure of it, down the road, hold it hostage and start upping their storage prices for the same plan that you're currently enrolled in. You will either have at that time an option to store all that one terabyte or more of data on your laptop or computer or just empty out your wallet and pay those exorbitant fees they might start charging you i'm sure of it they'll start charging a ridiculous amount of fees because after all microsoft is in the business of making money not making people happy right microsoft's milking process actually starts like this step one during the initial setup process microsoft's removes from plain sight your ability to set up and use a local account they're banking on the fact that most of us are not tech savvy. As a result of this devious act, you are being forced without your knowledge into setting up your account the wrong way. Okay, let me show you exactly what ends up happening as a result and what's so alarming about it. I'm going to take one for the team here and we'll set up Windows 11 Home version 24H2 with my Microsoft account. This was my experience on 24H2 when I signed in with my Microsoft account. I complete the process and if you notice on the bottom right where the OneDrive icon, icon will show up, uh, give it a second or two. Uh, watch this now. So it's not signed in right now but give it a few more minutes or a few more seconds actually. I give it like about 15 30 seconds and watch this do you see that let me slow it down for you guys this is in slow motion watch the line it disappears automatically and it signs me in so right now I'm signed in so the line does not exist anymore it automatically signed me in to my cloud basically the OneDrive account and if I looked at the backups, like, you know, right now you can see desktop documents, pictures, and I do get an option for starting the backup. But what's happening for people is that that option is not there anymore. It is automatically enabled in the back end, just like you saw, like my OneDrive signed in. So that is the problem with OneDrive right now. That is what's happening. That is the that is a privacy nightmare waiting to happen because imagine your data all of a sudden ending up on cloud, even though you didn't want it there and Microsoft is pushing it without your permission. So how is this remotely related to Microsoft milking your money or data? You might be wondering at this point, or how is it related to privacy and so forth? I'm sure, as I mentioned earlier, they will down the road start charging you a ridiculous amount of fee to 
continue to store your data on their OneDrive Cloud solution. At that point in time, users will be so accustomed or used to having the data on their OneDrive, they will continue to dish out the money, empty out their wallets to Microsoft for the heck of having data on OneDrive. So if you are not using a local account, as you witnessed here, OneDrive signs in automatically. And as the users on the web are actually reporting that their data is being backed up to OneDrive without their permission. And to be frank, you saw some of it in action here as well in this video. If you're wondering at this point, what can you do about it? Let me provide, let me try to provide you with some suggestions. So step one, for as long as it is feasible, till Microsoft blocks local account setup on a brand new install, please do not use your Microsoft account to log in when you're doing a initial first setup and use a local account instead. Step two, after setting up your account, the right way during the initial setup stage that is using a local account do not sign into your OneDrive app you can use Google's cloud solution as well instead of using OneDrive to be honest there's a Dropbox that you can use there's sync.com I believe there's there are tons of services out there that are cheap or cheaper I should say at least for now Microsoft OneDrive is offering significant discounts down the road that's going to disappear so if you want to pay for cloud solution pay a different provider compared to microsoft because microsoft decided to automatically without user permissions push the data to onedrive which is which i believe is wrong if you choose to do so say you decide yes i can't survive without onedrive on my computer if you do choose to do so, disable the auto startup of OneDrive app for however long that will be feasible, I guess till Microsoft takes away that ability as well, right? Step three, which is the ultimate solution here, is stop using Windows, period. Use a Mac OS or there are a bunch of various Linux operating systems, distros that are out there that you can use or anything that is not Microsoft Windows. Heck, if you can put Android on your computer, on your laptop, I would prefer an Android over Windows any day. But that's not feasible at this point, right? Let me show you here in this video one of the three methods you can use to complete step number one that is to set up your local account which is the right way to actually set up your windows right out of the box i will be posting another video fully dedicated to showing all three methods to bypass microsoft account setup on windows 11 24h2 because i did not want to make this video way too long so only going to show one of those three methods here which I believe is the easiest of the three, to be honest. I will link to the video in the description and also up there on the right as an info card when that video goes live. And one of the viewers on my previous videos uh, mentioned that the Shift F10 doesn't work anymore. Um, for me, this worked for me just fine. So Shift plus F10, it did work for me for Windows 11, Home Edition, 24H2 version. I have the Insider Access, the Insider Preview uh, program access. So I was able to grab the version 24H2. Earlier on this channel, I showed three methods to bypass Microsoft account setup on 23H2 version. And I'm gonna show here in this session for the sake of time, only one of those three methods. If you like, feel free to check those out while you wait for me to post the 24H2 version video for all the three methods combined into one video session. 
So I'll be showing this on a virtual machine. So this is Hyper-V and I'm showing you guys that I do have checkpoints enabled. Uh, so what I'll be using or what I will be doing is actually taking, I have already taken the checkpoint, the initial where the, the welcome screen is. So every time I'll reset to that stage after each method and you guys will be able to see what's going on. So sorry about the size here. It's not full screen size. It's what virtual machine gives me or Hyper-V gives me for my virtual machine here. So this is method number one, where I go in and actually disable the network at the right time when you're actually setting up the Microsoft account. So let me fast forward a bit here and get to the screen where you're asked to do the sign in. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have internet enabled and you click on the create new account. Again, once again, internet must be enabled before you hit the create, create new account button. You'll be greeted with this screen. Now do the shift plus F10 to launch the command prompt. Once the command prompt is open, uh, you need to do windows key plus R to open the run command and pause this here and then type this in your run command. It will open your system display. You need to go to networks and internet, go to advanced settings and disable your ethernet or unplug your cable if you have that or Wi-Fi, just disconnect that. And now you can proceed with the creation of the account. So once again, internet needs to be disabled after the fact that you create on, uh, when you clicked on create one, like you're creating a new account. You're not signing in with your existing account, you're actually creating a new account and basically you disable internet. So you can complete the process here. You'll see here that I'm trying to complete the process. It's still got the, all the rules and everything kind of in you know, a programmed into it, even though it doesn't have access to the internet right now, there's no access. It's going through the stages, the steps, as you can see here, and it will let me go through. And then at one point you'll see in the, in the video here that it just, gives you an error message, asks you to send a verification code to an email address, that a fake email address, I hope you use that. And it just says, okay, there was an issue and then it just proceeds further. So you'll see here on the next screen here, there you go. It says, hey, there is a problem with the service. Please retry again. And I click next, next, next. So again, internet is still disabled. And after one or two, I think that was just one try, you get the skip for now button. So again, a fake email address, internet is disabled. The first time it will probably complain about the service not working. The next time you go to the stages, it will repeat, like it will go in a loop and it will give you the option to skip. So now you can finish the process of actually creating the local account. So this is not a Microsoft account. Again, remember, we still have internet disabled. It is not working right now. I'll show you guys here once I complete this uh, like step process, just to make sure before I click the next button, I will make sure that internet is disabled. So if you wanna do this, Feel free to do that as well. So again, Windows or Windows command prompt first, then you launch the run command, go to display settings, and you check for your internet connection or internet connection, I should say. So it is still disabled. You just saw there, and then I'm gonna just finish it up, and finish the security questions, and that is it. That is all I need to do. So no registry hacking, no setting up user accounts or like doing any other stuff that you can do, no bypass NRO. It's a straightforward process. It's not a Windows Pro edition, it's a home edition you will see here. I'll show you guys what version I'm using and it is 24H2. For Windows Pro and Windows Enterprise, it is much easier because you can just unplug the cable, you don't need internet and that just works. But for Windows Home, this is specific for Windows Home here that I had to click on the create an account and I disable internet after that. So just, just, a, just a heads up on that guys, don't miss that step. And make sure that your internet is disabled. Again, 24H2 is the version and I think it will be released in September, if I'm not mistaken, September or October. So I will actually try it out. 
that way you don't have to guess which method will work or will not work so i'll try all three of them i'm just enabling internet again here because as you saw here it is still disabled no hackery or gimmickry here it's it works it is still working for 24h2 shift f10 still works or worked for me at least but i will again once it releases the 24h2 is actually made public then i will give that a try as well and i will post it on the channel here all three of them i am doing the other video as well uh, that shows all three methods right now and will be posted maybe in a day or two or on the weekend so please do check that out if you like this content if you like this channel guys please do hit the subscribe please do uh, hit the like button it is much appreciated all right guys take care stay safe